Hello, this is a quick demo of uh, how to set up and test I2S on Melody and on the Texas Instruments TOV320 AIC33 EVM board. Uh, so first of all, um, there is an application node called Melody Audio I2S and TOV320 AIC33 on the Blue Creation website. Um, I will be following that, so please um, familiar, familiarize yourself with that and make sure you have all the prerequisites from there. Um, I am assuming that you have already connected the two boards together electrically. There is a schematic in the application node and also that you have uh, got the uh, text instrument software running correctly on your PC um, and that the text instrument board is set to default. So I'm going to uh, ensure that switch 2.4 um, is off. That's already done on my board. Switch 2 is uh, right down here. Um, 2.4 is this one that's in the opposite position to the majority of the switches. Um, so I am launching uh, the TI software. Um, for me, it's in an XP virtual machine. Um, so I'm going to follow the steps in the application node. Um, so selecting I2C interface, not changing any of the addresses. And we can now see that it's connected. I'm also going to make sure the refresh is the indicators. So that's the first two steps gone. I am now going to configure the audio interface. Um, we are going to use I2S, 16 bits continuous transfer mode, um, and we have a one bit clock delay as per I2S um, specification. Uh, the bit clock and the word clock are inputs since Melody is master, so we're done with this pane. Uh, the next pane um, selects uh, how to clock um, the TI codec, um, and we are going to clock it from the bit clock of the i 2 s interface and supply it um, with um, certain parameters as specified in the application node, basically um, the P parameter is 1, the K parameter is 32, and the R parameter is 1. Um, this ensures that um, the uh, codec is uh, clocked at the same sample rate as the I2S in interface on Melody, whatever that sample rate is. Um, we are also going to enable the PLL and choose the clock source for the DAC and ADCS PLL devout. Um, apply those settings. The next thing we need to set up is uh, we need to enable the DAX and we need to feed some information to the DAX. So um, the left DAC is going to get the left channel input, the right DAC is going to get the right channel input. Um, I'm going to slave the two gain levels and I'm going to just put it to some positive value. Um, select um, the output path to left high power output driver on both and then enable both and um, that enables the DAX and we can uh, now go to the high power outputs and configure those um, what we need to do is we need to enable the first interface uh, the HPO output uh, uh, for the HPO COM uh, set it to differential to HPL out and then disable it. Um, also enable the HPR output and for the HPR comp set the differential to HPR out and disable it. Um, now you need to set some volume on your outputs. Um, they don't need to be the same but it's nice to be able to hear what music is uh, playing. So Melody is already configured to use uh, audio equals 3, so I2S master 44 uh, kilohertz and the default I2S compliant configuration for I2S. And it's prepared to my phone. So when I connect my phone to Melody, I should be able to play music and we should be able to hear it through this uh, wired speaker which is connected to the iPhone output. I think the gains might be a bit too much.
actually my mistake you should set the com ports to single ended outputs and then disable them because otherwise you get uh, noise um, enhancement on the output so as you can hear I'm I'm playing a song from my phone um, and it's being played back through here now I can show you melody status see that I'm streaming SBC at uh, 44 kilohertz. I can, without changing any of the configurations on the codec, uh, set uh, the output rate of melody to 48 kilohertz. Um, I don't need to write this when I stop streaming, or better still, disconnect. A to the key. Um, the audio interface is going to be reinitialized, and if I reconnect A to the key and start playback again, we're now playing back the resampled uh, output at 48 kilohertz, and as you can hear, there is no artifacts on the codec side because the clocks are synchronized with melody. Thank you very much for watching this not so short video.